Hey guys, what's going on? It is the Charlatanator here, and I'm here giving you guys my UFC Fight Night Boston review. I really want to talk about this fight card because I thoroughly enjoyed this card. So, starting off on like Fight Pass prelims, Barroso fought Mutopic. I, I don't know how to pronounce his name at all. Barroso pulled out the decision victory. I didn't watch any of the Fight Pass prelims, so I'm just going to kind of give you guys uh, my thoughts on my, um, who won those fights. Um, because I, I again I didn't really see those uh, fight pass prelims, so I don't really know how to give too much on there. But uh, Gomez apparently knocked out Font in the second round, um, or Font knocked out Gomez in the second round, which I was not expecting at all. I thought Gomez was gonna grind it out to the decision, maybe not like try to go to the decision, but you know what I mean. Just I thought he was gonna pull it off in a decision. Uh, Rosa defeated uh, Bochnik, Bochniak, I think that's how you pronounce the name, by decision. Kind of what I expected, actually. Um, was really expecting a decision in that fight, in all honesty. Uh, didn't think it was going to be too exciting. Uh, Latifi ended up knocking out O'Connell in just 30 seconds. Quite, I think it was a bad stoppage, though. I was looking at it, and I'm like, yeah, he knocked him down. He hit him hard. But definitely, I didn't think that should have been a, a finish at all. I think the referee was a little too quick there. Um, but in all honesty, I think Latifi would have ended up finishing the fight. But again, I, I really don't know. Um, then we got Paul Felder ended up submitting Cruikshank with, a, I believe it was a standing rear naked choke in round three. Cruikshank won both of the first two rounds. Um, then pulled and then just got tired. He really did. He really just got, um, tired in the third round there. Felder had more gas. Was able to submit Cruikshank. Do we have Blanco submit, uh, no, Sanders ended up submitting Blanco with a rear naked choke. He knocked him down hard with a, I believe it was like a right hook. A really hard right hook. And... Blanco went down, Sanders went ahead and put him in a rear naked choke. Very nicely done, and I think that was one of the bigger upsets on the card, in my opinion. I thought Blanco was a killer, and I thought he was going to destroy Sanders. Uh, Wade, against uh, Baghdad, got a, f a four and a half minute uh, choke in the first round against Baghdad. Wade, honestly, I thought that fight was going to be very close. I knew there was going to be a finish. And I was right picking the guy Wade to uh, win that fight. By the way, I did go 7 for 12, just a little bit over 50% uh, for tonight's prediction, uh, last night's predictions. Then we had Dave Herman knock out Tim Bosch in the second round. I was very surprised by this. I thought Tim Bosch was going to come back strong and defeat Dave Herman. I've always loved watching Herman fight, but I've never really been overall impressed with Herman. Apparently, Herman, I believe back, back in Strike Force, defeated Glover Tejera, which is crazy to think about. It's absolutely ridiculous to think about. Um, then, Patrick Cote ended up knocking out Ben Saunders in the second round, which was crazy. Cote has been a fucking monster at 170 pounds. He's becoming a more regular finisher ever since he's moved down to 170. He's just been, again, just a straight up killer doing so well down there. I'm going to start um, predicting knockouts for him more than likely now instead of decisions. But um, Tronado pulled up the decision against Pearson. I was kind of rooting for Pearson considering I'm a Pearson fan. I've started to become more of a Trinaldo fan now because he start, he's not just laying and praying anymore. He's actually standing up with people. He's trying to knock him out. He's got some power. He's starting to look very good standing up, as you can see against Pearson. Um, overall, good performance by Trinaldo, though. He pulled off the win for sure. Uh, Travis Brown. Now, this fight was probably the most controversial on the card, in my opinion, most definitely. Um, Travis Brown got like two eye pokes on Matt Mitrione, and 
in my opinion, maybe a point deduction should have happened. But I'm going to let you guys decide on that. I'm not going to say yes, a point deduction should have happened. And I'm not going to say no. Because I've seen fights where it's been um, refs say if there's a third occurrence, then yes, a point deduction. But if it's only one or two, then they won't call it. But Matt Mitrione's eye was fucking huge. I don't know how the doctor didn't stop. Well, the doctor saw his eye the second time and it was fine. But just throughout the fight, it got huge. It got horrible. Then uh, Travis Brown ended up getting that mount. Got a third round TKO. When he got that mount, it was over. It was over. Matt Mitrione had no choice but to just keep blocking. He couldn't get him off. Travis Brown slammed him down to get him to mount. It was just crazy. Just absolutely crazy. Um, then we had Pettis versus Alvarez. And very disappointing fight. I was expecting a banger. I was expecting a fun fight. But Alvarez did what he needed to do. He, he had a smart game plan. He did what he needed to do to win. And that was kind of just put on a boring fight and hold down Pettis. Now, I don't agree that it was a split decision. I honestly scored it different than um, probably anybody did. I scored it 30-28 Alvarez. And the reason for that is I think the first round was a draw. I don't think Alvarez did anything in the first round. But while Pettis was against the cage, he was doing punches. He was trying to get away. He was actually doing something. So I thought, honestly, Pet, uh, Pettis ended up doing enough to make that first round a draw. But again, like judges don't usually score rounds even. They really don't. So that's why, that's why I think they didn't score a draw. But I, I think it was a 30-28 decision for Alvarez. I think Alvarez won every round, including the first with Pettis. Um, then, of course, we got the main event. Dominic Cruz. Now, Dominic Cruz, I have seen his WEC fight with Faber. I have seen his UFC fight with Faber. And I've seen his fight with Sakei Mizugaki. Literally the only three fights I've ever seen of Dominic Cruz. And I've been a fan of his just from those three fights. Um, but after seeing him fight Dillashaw, my God... He has actually creeped into my top three favorite f current fighters in the UFC. No joke. His movement is just amazing. He makes it so hard to hit you. And when you do hit him, it's like just a, it's just barely hitting him, usually. That's ridiculous. Now, Cruz really impressed me in that fight. And I'm really going to rant right now about that second judge. I scored it personally 49-46 Dominic Cruz winning rounds 1, 2, 3, and 5. I think Dillashaw pulled off the fourth round for sure. That's the only round that I think anybody can argue. Maybe the fifth round you could argue. But if you want to get realistic, I don't think Cruz did enough to pull off the win in that fifth round. So Cruz clearly won rounds 1 through 3. There's zero argument there. And you had the first judge say 48, 47 Cruz. And I'm going to say, like, okay, I wasn't mad about that. I disagreed with it, but I wasn't mad that the judge went ahead and said 49, I mean, 48, 47. And then the second judge said 49, 46 Dillashaw. And that judge honestly should be fired. He should never, ever judge an MMA fight again. Because clearly it's impossible for Dillashaw to win that decision. Clearly. Because there was no 10-8 rounds. I mean, after the third round, Cruz was winning 30-27. Um, so yeah, that judge should most definitely be fired. Um, then the third judge said 49-46. I'm like, oh my god, they're about to screw Cruz. I could not handle another fucking robbery like this in a title fight in the same month, let alone the same year. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. And But they said Cruz, so I'm like, wow. I'm, that last judge is the, I think, did the perfect judging. I think, yeah. Um, I think that second judge actually scored round one 
for um, Dillashaw, which is ridiculous. I think I read I read the sc judge scorecards, but I can't remember exactly what they said. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I give this overall card a nine stars. I really do. Um, I enjoyed this card thoroughly. There was a lot of um, I was really getting into and I was really getting into almost every fight. The entire prelims was finishes, which was awesome. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Also comment. Let me know you what you thought about last night's fight card. And of course, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.